Well, hi again out there. This is Marvelous Mark with your WWE Main Event Review for October 31st, 2012. This week we don't get the Miz on commentary. It's Michael Cole and JBL. And they start off with the recap of what happened at the end of Hell in a Cell and the match itself between CM Punk and Ryback. They show Brad Maddox giving Ryback the low blow and giving him a quick count, which allowed CM Punk to retain his WWE title and they Michael Cole then says that he has been indefinitely suspended by the WWE and there's gonna be there's gonna be some meeting with their board of directors earlier on today that there was or last or it's supposed to happen today be interesting to see what happens with that and then right before the the start of the main event match that was it, was it was done up last week at the end of the show where Orton came to the aid of Sin Car after ADR and primetime players started beating on him and and that's what we get this week so we'll jump right into it well this week the only vignette they showed was they showed right before the match started when ADR came in the ring they showed a little vignette on him and then then PT Pierce come out there, and then then Or and Sinkar Ray and Orton come to the ring, and actually this match did get a lot of time. That seems to be a, a trend on on this WWE main event show. It was a I thought it was a pretty decent match. It was pretty fast paced for the most part, but that that would be to be expected when you have Ray and Sinkar in there. Orton got the victory, which didn't surprise me none. But what did surprise me is that he got the victory on ADR. I'm surprised it wasn't on one of the PTPers. Probably more than likely to be Darren Young. But but anyway, that's that's what happened there. And then then Stryker, Matt Stryker at the end of the match, he did a post-match interview with them. Ray and Ray was talking about how the he and Sin Curry are Sin Curry are going for the tag team championship, and then you actually hear Sin Curry talk. I've never heard him talk on a on a WWE telecast. I mean, it, yeah, it was all in Spanish, so maybe that's maybe that's why they, they don't have him cut promos. But then then Orton then they talk to Orton, and he basically says he proves who proved who the Real Apex Predator was in WWE, so, so I thought it, it thought it was a good match actually, better than what you've seen on Raw lately. I'm I can about guarantee you. So then they come back from commercial and Josh Matthews interviews the losers. And first he he talked to the PT peers and said we didn't hey we didn't lose the match. Well, very true statement, but they. They say by WrestleMania next year we plan to be WWE Tag Team Champions. That's blah blah blah. blah, blah. Then soon afterwards, ADR comes storming in there. Get he gets Matthews out of the way and so basically tells Orton to watch his back because this this ain't over, Pero. No, that's not what he said. He didn't say Pero, but says but he says it's not over. So Let's see it. See whatever happens on SmackDown this week. So. I did not do a raw review this week because I usually don't have time to do one of those for one, and I'm because I'm usually working Monday nights and I don't I don't feel like doing it after I get off work. But anyway, they they have a recap about of the AJ John Cena scandal, if you will. That I tell you what, there there's somebody in that company that watches TNA because. Because this this is a complete ripoff of what what they did with AJ Styles and Dixie Carter, and and you got you got Vicky Guerrero stirring the pot, and then then you got you got Dolph Ziggler in the role of Christopher Daniels. Well, Christopher Daniels did this role a lot better. I'm not gonna lie, and basically it's it's just the same thing. Basically, it's really all it is, and. Then Monday night, I guess Vicky's gonna. She's got some more proof that 
that AJ and Cena are having an affair, and well, it'd be interesting to see where they go with that because I'm sure, I'm sure he's she's gonna come up with some video or some shit. But so then the other match was a match I've seen before: Wade Barrett against Tyson Kidd. Barrett wins clean with the souvenir, and. It really wasn't that long of a match, probably not even five minutes long, and just like what Barrett says in his post match promo. Basically says that if if Sheamus would have defended the title against him instead of Big Show at Hell in a Cell, Barrett would be the world heavyweight champion. And then that brings out Sheamus and Sheamus says he really doesn't have anything against Engl English people, just himself. And basically all this does is it sets up next week's main event between Wade Barrett and Sheamus. Um, this would have been a good feud for she Sheamus when he was world champion instead of instead of him dropping it to the big show. So, I mean, this is, this is a match we've seen a few times lately, so... I can't imagine it's going to be any different this time. So my final thoughts on this show is that I thought the six-man match was pretty good. A lot of high, a lot of fast-paced action, as you might expect with with Rain and Sin Cara. Then Orton get the, getting the victory over ADR. ADR doing the job that kind of surprised me. And then Barrett going over Tyson Kidd. That's no big surprise there. And then setting up the next week's main event with him and Sheamus. I don't expect anything different not to come from that. And that's about all I can say about this show. Subscribe up above if you haven't already. And leave your comments down below for me. And I will talk to you later. This is Marvelous Mark signing off for now. So long.